Not exactly where I thought I'd end up tonight. It's a little loud. One of the things I love the most about my life with Hadea is that we can turn just about any situation into an adventure. That's why living in the RV fits really well for us. And you've seen us turn some dirty jobs into fun and adventure, like our first oil change. <laughs> well, this week, we had to take care of something else pretty important. It's been a month dry camping in this RV. This dirty job had to get done. And even though I got poop all over my face, we still had an adventure. Today, after 26 days, our bill is finally due. We can camp no longer. We're packing up and heading out to refill Lady Jupes. I've got just about everything ready to go out here except for power. So we bring in slides and then I think we're ready for the rest of the dirty work. Damn, that's close. No oil? No. Good. Looks good. Freeway time on the first oil change. It still feels so smooth. endorsement for two pound of double-sided tape the ring doorbell stood <laughs> I forgot to take it off before we left the campsite and stayed on the side of the rig down the whole freeway how long we were on the freeway for 25 minutes it's at 70 miles per hour <laughs> double-sided tape everybody tank one is done time for tank two not as thinking Guys, what's not to love except for some shit in the face from time to time? Go out and have some adventures. Hey, babe. Yep. I need a Clorox wipe for my face. For your face? Did you get sprayed with poo? Yeah, I got sprayed with poo. That's better. All right, now we just gotta get water, and then I need to eat. I'm getting hungry. We got dinner right there, ready to go. This will be a long trip for us to get to this water. Yeah. It's been many days across this vast desert. Oh, this son of a bitch also has the 40 second cutoff. Yeah. Here's the tricky thing about this water hookup. The water, like a monkey on the set of Lost, only runs for 40 seconds and then you gotta push the button. Push the button for 75 gallons. But I'm just desperate enough for water, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> and, and by you're gonna do it, you mean... You're gonna do he it? Is gonna do Are it. you? Well, yeah. We're about 35 gallons of water. That feels good. That feels good. Time for fresh water dance. Oh, that feels good. Fresh water dance up here. Almost 75 gallons of delicious, clean, fresh water. We're almost there, babe. We're like at 70 gallons. Hi. 
70 gallons, you're doing great. You push that button oh, so good. <laughs> we just got done getting all the water in and boom. Yeah, I think dinner might be done. Look at that, dinner looks super done. That looks delicious. Oh yeah. You know what we just realized? If we want something delicious to drink with dinner, it's probably just a short walk over to where a vending machine's at. Yeah. This is the best. This is so great. I am so short. Yeah, you are. Here, I'll put the camera. Hi, there she is. Hi. <laughs> wow, look, phone booths. Hedy and I often both try to look at the brighter side of a situation. Honestly, I, I, there's something I kind of like about camping at a rest stop. Maybe because it feels like we're on a road trip. This is, I don't know, I like it. What do you think about just staying the night here? I would love that. So the benefits of living in an RV aren't just because you get to go on these long trips. I think it's the randomness of staying in different places and waking up somewhere new. There's something exciting about change. It's an element of adventure to your day-to-day -day life. Yes. Good morning guys, it's uh, early here in the rest stop. The last crew of truckers already left this morning. A new crew is in and they're in having breakfast. We just got up a bit ago. It's a little cold because we haven't had any propane all night, but we did okay. We got some snuggles in and we got some, we got some good sleep, so. Can't really complain for sleeping in a parking lot next to the freeway. It worked out pretty good. The trick is just have a good noisemaker, guys. Have a good noisemaker, you won't hear all these engines. I mean, you do now, but. That's fine. It's time to head out. We clear for departure, boss? I believe so. Oh, jeez. Oh, well, you didn't get very far. I like a graceful dinosaur. Graceful dinosaur. Alright, I'm gonna ease this in. I think this should be good, though. Yeah, I think so. Alright. <coughs> Bring it to an all stop. Good job, lady baby. Thanks, dude, baby lady. Hello. How's it going? Good. Full tank of water, check. Full tank of propane, check. Oh yeah. Here we go. This one's nice because it's downhill. Yeah. And for now at least, we're back in the junkyard, starting to feel like our little apartment in the city. I don't know how much longer we're gonna stay here, or if we'll even come back after Texas. I figure that's, that's all future Chris's problem. Wet and gross, it's just, it's the worst! The you worst! Are, you look like you're being attacked. I am! Ah! Ah! Hey, you got it.